What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. As always a huge, huge thanks for coming back. Uh, today I'm super excited because it is the start of a project that you guys, it's basically the number one requested project that you guys have been asking for the longest, longest time. Um, and that's gonna be the start of changing the color on the OBS, the single cap, like three tone, three color OBS. Yes, today's gonna be the start of changing the color on that thing. Um, and it's gonna be completely DIY. It's gonna be done here at the house. I'm not gonna say yet what I'm doing or what color I'm painting it. Uh, you can leave your comments down below and think what it's gonna be, but I'm not saying it yet. And we're obviously not painting it today. Uh, we're not changing the color today. But what we are doing is we're gonna be wrapping the grill and the headlight bezels. Now, the reason why I'm wrapping these is because I ordered them and I actually ordered them black, not painted, uh, not chrome, sorry, because I actually want the front end of this thing to be black, at least the, uh, the grill and the headlight bezels. So that's kind of a hint of what I'm going towards with the color of this thing or the color scheme of this thing. Uh, but I basically wanted a like satin black for them. So I basically wanted kind of this satin color for the grill. The problem is that uh, I bought, and I bought this as a kit, the grill and the headlight bezels. The problem is that the grill came pretty much the color that I wanted it, but the headlight bezels came in shiny black. I don't know if you can tell. And for a second, I've thought of running, running it that way, but it, it was just bothering me too much. So then I kind of thought of all the different ways so that I could get these things to match. I thought about painting them, um, plastic dipping them and stuff like that. Uh, but I came to the conclusion that I really, really have always wanted to try and wrap something and get some practice doing it. And I feel like this is the perfect project for that. So I went on Amazon, of course, and I got me some wrap. I know that all of this is gonna be super hard to record because black is always really hard to record. But I basically got this wrap, a satin black. Um, it should be a 3M wrap, I guess, who knows? But I think it'll look really nice. And I think it's gonna match the um, methods almost perfectly. I'm pretty excited about that, like I said. Uh, I'm really excited about this whole color change. I'm hoping to get it done this month. Um, but there's still a lot of things on the list. Um, this is just the first thing that I'm going to try and change colors on. Um, I've been kind of gathering parts. Like again, another hint. This is the uh, tailgate handle that I want to change to black. So yeah, super, super excited about that. We're going to go ahead and get started on this. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually modify this uh, headlight bezels. And that's because these headlights that I have, the... Um, spider i believe they are uh they you gotta modify the bezel because they're a basically one piece headlight so we actually got to cut off this whole section of it um on both of them so i'm gonna go ahead and do that get these things prepped uh get them cleaned and we'll go ahead and try and wrap again i have never wrapped in my entire life uh so we'll see how it comes out now always safety and uh my weapon of choice is this Dremel with a, I believe it's a diamond disc or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and just cut, uh, if I remember correctly, I'm just going to cut pretty much around this and match this outside cut. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we got this thing pretty much modified to uh, how we have to do it. And like I said, all you, all you gotta do is just cut this corner piece out. And all I have to do now is basically come back with a uh, little sanding attachment and clean up the edge a little bit because it is a little bit rough, uh, but that's pretty much it. This one is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead, get that one prepped off camera because it's the same thing as that one. Uh, get them all nice and cleaned up. And and they'll basically be ready for the wrap, uh, which I'm super excited. Like I said, I've never done that before. so. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, and also I know that some of you are going to ask, 
why didn't I just wrap that grill? And um, basically for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't want to take that one off, have to wrap it and put it back on. And it would be like a small change, but like, I want to kind of have the finished product all put together. And the second reason is because that grill is actually kind of damaged. Um, the chrome is peeling off of it, which I know that it could peel off the entire chrome, but then that would be a pain. And yeah, I just, like I said, I just want to get a new grill for this, wrap this thing and have a new grill that's not broken. That I don't have to worry about peeling the chrome or anything like that. So yeah, like I said, I just, I just thought it would be easier. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead, knock this one out and we'll move on with the project. And there we go, guys. We got both of these things modified. Like I said, I went ahead and sanded the inside of them to try and leave them as smooth as possible, but as far as I remember, this should definitely work. I mean, you can't really take more off than, than that. So that should be good for uh, those spider. So these are basically two piece headlights because the original lights or original style lights are three piece. So we've got the headlight, your corner marker light, and then your bumper light. And with this design from, I mean, I bought this from spider, who knows, you know, who they're from. Uh, they're two piece. So you've got your headlight and your corner light, marker light and then your bumper light and turn signal. So I really like this style. Um, it's actually my favorite. I like it more than the original three piece and I like it way more than the one piece headlights. Anyways, I'm gonna get this area cleaned up. I'm gonna move these off to the side for now because I wanna start with the uh, grill. So I'm gonna get the grill here, get it all cleaned up and uh, we'll move on from there. Okay guys, so I sprayed this thing basically with a water and soap solution. Just to try and get this thing uh, cleaned up as best as I can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rub it again with a um, rubbing alcohol. Again, I don't know if those are the right steps or not, but I'm pretty sure you need this thing to be pretty, pretty well clean. Maybe not as clean as if you were uh, painting this thing, but I think the cleaner it is, the better it should turn out. I guess, I guess we'll see. Now, I will tell you this right now. I'm not wrapping the truck, not, not vinyl wrapping. I don't think I could take on a project that big. But again, like I said, this is uh, good practice because one day I do wanna uh, tackle that project, just just not today. Okay, so now I just got some 70% isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Like so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wipe this down with it. Again, like I said, I don't know if you need to do all this uh, for a wrap, but I'm pretty sure it can't hurt. Okay guys, so we got this thing pretty well cleaned out. Um, I think it's pretty much ready. I'm, gonna go, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, dust off all of these little fuzzies that we got from the, from the wipe using a little bit of air. Okay, and that looks pretty decent. I'm happy with that. By the way, what's in this box is, you guys are really, really gonna like. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not gonna be until probably next month. But I'm super excited about this thing. Also, uh, I think it was in my last video. When I went to the junkyard, I talked about that dash. Um, we did go back and it was still there. So I took it home. That thing is mint, zero cracks super clean um and i have big plans that's also gonna go on this thing but like i said uh we'll talk about all that stuff uh maybe next month but yeah anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get the wrap get it cut to size to fit this thing and uh we'll give it a shot so i've got this kind of laid out to about the size that i think i'm gonna need to cut and we're basically leaving enough on this side to be able to wrap on the back of it same on the sides and then over here, we'll leave pretty much enough so that we can wrap it over this edge. Uh, and hopefully it'll work out. Okay, so I've got this thing cut to size. And like, I know, I know this is going to be so weird because these things are like literally the same color. But, and I could have just probably gone away with wrapping these. 
but even though they're pretty much the same color, I bet you they will still, you can still see the difference. And more than anything, I, I just want the experience. I want to learn, hopefully learn how to do this. Um, so I feel like a piece like this is relatively complicated. I mean, it has a lot of curves. It's got all these things. And basically my, my game plan for these is to kind of wrap just this, not worry about the actual like inserts on it. Um, I'm hoping that that turns out. Hopefully, that hoping that it works out. Um, Cause I think it'd be easier just to cut around here than trying to stretch the film in there, which I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work. So, so I'm gonna try and find a somewhere to put you guys uh, because this next step is gonna be actually peeling the film and trying to stick it to the grill. So. And it's getting windy. I'm gonna close that door. Okay, so we've got you guys on a tripod. Um, we lost a little bit of light from closing the door, but I think we should still be good. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this wrap, wrap has like a lot of creases in it. Um, that's the way that it came from shipping, plus with me handling it, I'm sure that I added a few. So I'm hoping that they don't come through on the wrap. Um, and if it does, oh well, it's not the end of the world, but I'm gonna go ahead and I guess just peel this thing and see how it sticks. Again, guys, I've never done this before. Um, but sometimes you just gotta try projects, you know, and see how it turns out. You'll definitely never know, never learn if you never try. So you gotta try at least once. So, first step wasn't that bad. Now, of course, I watched a grand total of like two videos on YouTube, you know, before I, I did this. So, of course, I'm not. I'm an expert now. Now what? So, now this kit that I bought from uh, Amazon did come with the toolkit. So, got a couple squeegees. What I'm thinking that I need to do and what I saw on those like two, three videos that I watched on YouTube is that I gotta start from the center and kind of just work my way out and take all those wrinkles. Cause you can see right here, it's super, super wrinkly. So that is gonna be the first step. Now this is just uh, felt or whatever that you stick to your squeegee and that way hopefully you won't scratch the, uh, the wrap. Also, if I, understood this correctly you don't really want to use heat or at least a lot of heat on this 3m wrap so i guess we'll try and avoid it as much as we can okay guys so i'm gonna throw you on a time lapse because i feel like i have to be pretty concentrated for this thing and i don't even know what to say so we'll see you in a little bit Okay guys, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but I've got the first part uh, done. This whole big top section of the grill is done. Now, it's not perfect. It's not even close to being perfect, um, but I'm happy enough with it. I don't wanna spend all day on this thing. Um, and I just know, knowing myself, that the more that I try on this, the more that I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess it up. So I don't wanna be too ambitious, but I just want it to look good enough at least in the parts that you can actually see, you know? So, as you can see, this whole top piece, it's pretty decent. And it's the main part that you can actually see from outside the truck. Now, 
this whole bottom piece that goes on the inside of the truck basically uh, under the hood not the greatest not even close as you can see super 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 wrinkly um, well, at least hopefully you can see like i said black is like the worst color to try and film uh but again this is going to be under the hood so i'm not super worried about it um and like i said this side pretty decent uh we've got a couple of spots where i i guess either i didn't wipe it uh blow it off good enough uh but most likely what happened is with the door being open and the wind coming in um it picked up some dust and it did, did get under the wrap which kind of sucks but not that big of a deal and then we did have a pretty big crease right here that i wasn't able to get out um kind of a bummer but oh well again like i said we'll be we'll be all right so i'm gonna go ahead and move forward with trying to wrap the rest of the grill and the way that i my game plan i guess for this is i want to go ahead and get all of these top sections of the grill all wrapped and nice and then i'm gonna go back and i guess cut down here a slit so that i can actually push the wrap into the inner lip of this thing which hopefully i think shouldn't be that hard so i'm gonna go ahead and get this knocked out okay guys so we're almost done wrapping the grill and i just learned how to do it <laughs> if that makes sense so as you can see we're pretty much done i've done all of these uh slots holes whatever you want to call it and the way that i have been doing these is i would basically cut a little like x on here to let it kind of i guess form to this to let it be able to wrap around but what that did and it's going to be really hard because i wrapped a black grill black i still don't know uh, like i said it, it, it makes sense in my head but anyways you can maybe see right there or like right there how it makes it leaves it kind of ugly you know it, if this thing was like a different color if say that, that this was i don't know silver uh you would be able to see the black right there and and it would probably it, would, it wouldn't bother me a little bit you know it might drive some people crazy but like i said <laughs> on this hole i learned the proper way to do it and basically because i don't know if you can tell but like this is like all nice and black all the way around and the way you do it is you go in and like really stretch it and, and uh, form it into place like this all the way in right there too you basically want to stick the corner in first like this and then you can go ahead and do the rest of it but it's really important that you get you know the corner first so then, after I had that in place, I believe actually then I went ahead and cut on here just to relieve a little bit of pressure. I don't know where I was filming, but anyways. Now, you gotta make sure that you leave enough room um <clears throat> so that you can make a clean cut all the way around this little ledge once uh you're ready for that so i'm gonna go ahead and try and get all of this nice and into the uh grill it's kind of hard doing it with one it's kind of hard doing it with one hand so again it's kind of funny that i learned that um like literally the second to last slot but again like i said we're doing this we're doing this to learn and now if i ever do this again now i know from the get-go how to do it so now that we have basically all of this done i'm gonna go ahead and just trim around it uh should be fine i did trim already the top right there and it looks pretty good you can hardly tell so i'm gonna trim basically all around the side and everything and i think it should be fine i don't think it'll peel away if it does Oh well, I'll do it again or I'll figure something else to do. But for now, this thing's basically done. Once I get done trimming everything, I'll show you the actual finished product. Okay guys, and there we go. This thing is pretty much fully done. Again, not much of a change because we went from a satin black or whatever to a sand black grill. Um, but it's done. I learned a whole bunch. And now we're going to go ahead and do 
the headlight bezels and we'll see how those ones come out. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I actually wrapped uh, one of the headlight bezels off camera and they came out pretty decent except for this area. As you can see, not the best. Uh, everything else is pretty decent. Um, I'm pretty happy with the rest of everything else. Also in this area, it was also kind of um, wrinkly like that, but I did go ahead and trim it right there like that and I think that'll be fine. But I guess the problem with the part like this is it's been pretty easy <clears throat> to get wrinkles out of you know the, the wrap when you can kind of like pull it, when you can stretch it. The problem with this is that it's got a corner coming down like this and then a bend like this. So it kind of, I guess, compresses it a little bit and it just made it really hard for me to get those wrinkles out. So we're gonna try again with this one and hopefully with this one we can nail it and not get any wrinkles. Uh, at least that's the goal. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys a pretty cool merch that I got from First Class OBS. Uh, my buddy Tim over there, super cool guy. I've been talking with him for a while already. Um, he actually, uh, that's an Instagram. So if you don't follow me or him on Instagram, definitely uh, follow us. So he, he, uh, his page is First Class OBS, the best OBS uh, page on Instagram. And then uh, I've got Blowing Diesel Designs and Blowing Diesel. But anyways, he actually um, did an axle swap on his F-150 brick nose. And it turned out amazing. Um, definitely go check it out. He also has a YouTube channel uh, where he documented some of the process. So definitely go hit him up. I'll leave the links to everything down below in the description. Super cool guy. Uh, he sent me some merch. So the hat, the shirt, a couple of shirts actually. And a super nice sweater, which Right now in Arizona, we, not, we might not be using this that much, but it looks super nice, super comfy. It's got the nice first, first class OBS with the single cab because that's what we got. Well, we also got the crew cab, but that's for later. First class OBS down the um, arm. Super cool, they feel really nice. This t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, super comfy. Again, we've got the logo, we've got the flag, super cool shirt, super cool dude, like I said. Go follow him, really, really cool guy. And if you have any questions about um, swapping an F-150 or a bull nose or a brick nose, definitely go see his videos, go talk to him. Super cool dude, uh, I'm sure he'll help you out. But anyways, like I said, we are gonna jump back to this headlight bezel and focusing on making this one perfect, or at least as perfect as I can get it. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this thing knocked out and uh, I'll show you the uh, finished product. Okay guys, so I gotta admit, I am doing the the second uh, headlight bezel and it's pretty much become a complete failure. Um, and let me show you, I guess. So as you can see, I've got this big bunch of wrap here at this last corner. And the reason why that happened is because I was trying to focus on doing this first corner, which is the one that was the most messed up on this other bezel that I did. and. Eventually what I ended up doing was kind of pulling the wrap too much this way, but I got that corner pretty good and I was like, hey, we made it. That looks pretty decent. As you can see, it's not that bad. I still gotta trim it so that that goes in pretty good, but it looked good. So what I did is I started going that way. So once I started going that way and pulling it, I kind of made the wrap wrap like this. And that left me with this big bunch right here that I was just would never be able to take out. So. Uh, this is a failure, but luckily I got a decent bit more uh, specifically for a situation like this that something went wrong so that I could just peel it off and start over again, which is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna peel it off, cut a new piece, and try this again. Again, it's not the uh, pretty frustrating when you mess up, uh, but you know what? Like I said, we're learning, so I'm gonna go ahead, tear this off, and you know, try again.
Okay, guys, so remember how I told you to, uh, you know, be smart like your boy and order extra wrap? <laughs> I lied to you guys. Um, I definitely did not get enough. And uh, we still tried. We finished wrapping this thing. The top came out beautiful. Like, look at that. Nice single wrinkle on that thing. Professional. But if you start looking close, you'll find a lot of seams on this thing which you know if you're not looking for it you can't really see it but yeah there you go that's a nice one there's two right there side by side another one right there and another one right there so i basically didn't realize that when i unrolled this thing it uh it, it just wasn't as big as i thought it was uh left on that roll uh my bad i completely messed up but I already ordered another roll to finish these things and hopefully it will all look better. Um, you know, hopefully we'll go back and fix that one and then do this in one whole piece. Um, even though I did kind of find out that, you know, it's a lot easier working with smaller pieces, um, you know, to wrap this. But again, we don't want those seams on there. That just looks even way more professional than uh, it already does. Uh, but one thing though that I did learn is that I'm pretty confident uh, that this thing won't come undone. Though, when I when I went to peel this one, it was stuck on there like super hard. So I'm pretty confident that that wouldn't you know just come off. So you know it is what it is. Um, it was definitely a super 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 cool fun experience. Um, doing this, learning this, I learned a ton, and honestly, huge. Huge props to the guys that make this stuff look easy. Um, that are out there wrapping cars, full cars and stuff like that and make it look like nothing. Um, it's definitely uh, definitely cool trade, you know, a really, really cool skilled trade um, that I don't think I could ever do to that level. Super awesome, super cool, super fun. Definitely wish that I had someone to guide me a little bit, you know, and teach me and show me stuff like this. It's super fun. Um, and like I said, one day we'll definitely be doing that on the single cab, cab uh, wrapping it a really cool color and whatnot. Uh, but for now, just this project was pretty fun, you know. And definitely small projects like this uh, is, like I said uh, in the intro of this thing or, you know, somewhere in this video. Uh, you know, you don't learn anything if you don't try something new. So try and try as many new things as you can. Um, if you don't know how to weld you know go to a buddy that has a welder pick up a cheap welder whatever whatever you can find and try it start doing it um if you don't know how to work on your truck buy if you can find a cheap truck you know just buy one and start doing your own project you know start by changing the oil you know putting a intake and an exhaust you know then go to you know just step it up you know start doing little things here and there and eventually you'll learn and you'll you know, you'll you'll learn a new skill. You, you'll you'll have a new skill, or you'll you'll learn to do a new thing, and it's super cool. I love it. Um, I definitely, like I said, just it's just try things. That's all I can say. Just try new things. It might not come out super perfect. You know, you might mess up here and there. It won't be perfect the first time, but I bet you the second time that you'll that you'll do it, it'll be a lot better because. You already learned a little bit, you know? Anyways, that's enough of that corny stuff. Ah, I've been wearing, by the way, the shirt, the hat all day. Super comfy, I love it. Again, like I said, go check out my boy, Tim, at First Class Soviet. Super cool dude. I really appreciate him working with me. Um, you know, like I said, he's got my track bar bracket on his truck. It's an F-150 uh, brick nose. So again, if you're interested in that truck, an F-150 or a brick nose, uh, 05 plus, Axel swapping it again. Go hit him up, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from this video, or at least got the courage to try something yourself. Um, again, if you liked what you saw, leave a like. Leave any comments down below what you think that we're gonna be painting the single cab OBS and what we're gonna be doing to paint it. Uh, again, I really appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.